Good morning, good morning. Welcome in. Welcome back to the channel once again. Come on in, catch a word, and be blessed on this morning. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the churches. And we, as people of God, we are the church. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and use copyright claim 107 for educational purposes only. Fair use, fair use for learning, teaching, hearing, motivating, and uplifting. This is what this channel was built on. Saving souls, changing minds, fixing hearts. Yes, this is what this channel is all about, folks. Uplift someone to open someone's eyes so they may see my Father in heaven and glorify Him. Yes, that's what it's all about. And the title of the message is today, folks, Watch Your Circle Before They Destroy You. Yes, watch your circle before they destroy you. Because there's a lot of people that may be in your circle may not be good for you. Yes, a lot of people that's in your circle may not be good for you. Yes. So you have to watch your circle before they destroy you. I'm going to go ahead and read the scripture. I'll be reading from Matthew's the sixth chapter, starting at the 19th verse. And the word of God says, Do not lay up your treasures. Do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in, say, in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasures is, there your heart will be also. May the words of the Lord be blessed on this morning. Yes, may the words of the Lord be blessed on this morning. And we're going to go ahead and run this clip. Yes, we're going to go right ahead and run this clip, folks. As I said, the title of the message is, Watch Your Circle Before They Destroy You. You see, a lot of people are not even paying attention to the circle that's around them and the people that's around them. Because everybody that say they're your friend is not necessarily your friend. As the old folks used to say, all skin folk ain't kin folk. That's right, all skin folk ain't kin folk. That's right, that's the truth back. Because sometimes your family can be your worst enemy. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and run this clip. Have you ever wondered why, despite your efforts, your spiritual journey feels like walking through quicksand? The answer might lie closer than you think in the company you keep. Scripture warns us about the influence of those we surround ourselves with on our faith and spiritual growth. Today, we dive into the wisdom of God's word to uncover... That's very, very important that we watch the company that we keep. That's right, the company that we keep. So you may have somebody in your circle who's not necessarily interested in serving God. And this person may want to influence you to do something that's not of God. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they might want to influence you to do something that's not of God. Like, come on, come on, girl, we can go out here tonight. It ain't gonna hurt just to do this, just, just do it this time, you know, something like that. But we can go out and take a little drink tonight. God won't mind. See, these type of things, you have to watch the circle that you're in. This is why I always tell you. To keep yourself surrounded with like-minded people, folks. People that love the Lord. Yes, God-fearing people. People that's on the same page that you're on. Yes, these are the people that we need to be surrounding ourselves with in these last and evil days. Let's get back to the clip. Today we dive into the wisdom of God's word to uncover six types of people who could be getting in the way of your walk with God. I'll also be saying a powerful prayer with you 
in the honorable name of our Lord. So stay with us until the end of this video and embrace all the blessings with a hopeful spirit. In our journey through life, we often find that the relationships we nurture hold a profound impact on our mental and spiritual well-being. This is especially true in the context of our faith, where fostering healthy connections is not just beneficial but essential. It's these relationships that can either strengthen our bond with our beliefs or lead us away from the path we strive to follow. Amen. And I know we love our friends, our neighbors, our loved ones, but sometime in life, we have to let people go. And sometimes even God will remove people from our lives. That's right, sometimes God will move people out of your life just to save your soul. That's right, to save your soul. See, it may not look good to you, but see, God knows what he's doing, folks, when he removed people from your life. Let's get back to the clip. Imagine for a moment the kind of support and encouragement